Okay, hello everybody, welcome, welcome. This is the solution to the problem reducing dishes. It's a hard level problem, but it has the highest acceptance ratio on lead code for all of the DP problems. The solution is very simple and you'll be surprised how simple we can make it. But to get to that point, we need to understand and observe a couple of things. First, let's talk about the problem itself. So a chef has collected data on satisfaction level of N dishes. Basically, there is the satisfaction uh, list given to us, giving us scores of how good dishes are. And the lifetime coefficient of dish is defined as the time taken to cook that dish, including previous dishes, blah, blah, blah. Basically saying that current time, which is the time I, multiplied by the satisfaction of I will give you some coefficient. And the goal is to return the maximum sum of all of the coefficients that you can form. Okay. There are two more special conditions, which is what made this problem very interesting. First, dishes can be prepared in any order. The ordering is not important. The values and the times are, but the ordering of dishes themselves in the satisfaction array is not important. Then the chef can also discard some dishes to gain the maximum value. We're going to play with both of these later on, but first let's actually write all of them down here. So this is just a quick review of what we've already discussed. Coefficient is the current time times the satisfaction of I, the current element times whatever time it is right now. And the goal is to get the maximum sum of all of the coefficients. Orders can be any and using this fact and this fact, basically see the thing is in any question that says that order is not important, sorting is like one go to thing you should think about. And so we'll think about sorting. In this case, it's going to make sense because you have the current time with you, which you can always increase by one. And the satisfaction is obviously you can sort that and get the best possible times. Okay, basically we're going to sort this in descending order. In a case like uh, the one given here, minus one, minus eight, zero, five, minus nine, we'll first sort all of these. And then we'll take a note of what happens to the entire, like the answer basically, which is the score of this particular array. So when we consider just the first element, we get a score of five. That's just five times one. When we look at these two elements, we get five comma zero as five times two plus zero times one, giving a total score of 10. Similarly, this is five times three plus zero times two plus minus one times one, giving you a score of negative. 14, positive 14. Now, there is a relationship hidden between them and feel free to like enumerate more examples till it is very clear and obvious to you. I'm going to mention it right away. It says that the score of this array, the score of uh, from five zero till minus one is the same as the score of five zero and all of these three written separately. So the score of five zero minus one is 14 and you can confirm it by looking at the previous one. So the previous score is 10 and the sum of five plus zero and minus one is four. So this is four, this is 10 and giving you a total of 14. Pretty simple. This we can write down in a more abstract and general manner saying the score of satisfaction up till I is the same as sum of satisfactions up till I basically saying that you want to include the negative one element? Sure, go ahead. But you also have to put this over here. So you'll have to include this ith element here and take its sum. Plus whatever the previous score was. This is why it's a DP problem. You can see that there's uh, like we're depending upon the previous solutions gained to build upon the future solution. Alternatively, you can think of it like this. You know, instead of calculating the sum every single time, I is only going like by one each time. So I is becoming I plus plus or I plus plus or I plus two, whatever. And each time I is increasing by one. Basically the sum is always now going to include the next element. You had a possible sum before, we'll call it underscore sum. And you encounter the satisfaction of I, you'll add that to the sum and store it as the sum itself. Then you'll encounter the new element. Again, add it to the sum and you'll have it. Basically, this order of an operation can be converted to uh, this operation, which is now order of one. 
now again like just reframing the entire thing now this becomes code plus equals to underscore sum this may take a bit of time to understand but it's very fun once you get it so this is pretty much the entire solution right here i'm not kidding this is it first we'll uh, sort it in descending order and then we'll do these two operations okay let's sort it sort it in descending order so we'll set reverse as true we'll iterate over all of these s in satisfaction and we're going to do some computation before that let's initialize sum and the total score as zero and zero this is pretty simple okay each time we're going to include this element in the sum and each time we're going to do score plus equals to underscore sum at the end we'll return score okay looks good right uh, one small thing do you always want to include this s in the sum the goal is to maximize this particular value right when will this be maximized well whatever the previous is that's fine but if this value is greater than zero then we can always ensure that the next score is going to be greater we only want to ensure this value is greater than zero if it's lesser than zero then we don't care like we're done because that would now go on and reduce our score we wanted to increase our score and so we'll check if this value is greater than zero or not let's do a simple check and say that if it is lesser than zero then break apart break loop and we've already got in our answer if it's greater than zero if it's positive go ahead and keep include that in the score and we'll go on and keep looking for more and better items if any okay let's go ahead and submit this and uh, we'll look at the space time complexities okay satisfaction okay good okay let's look at the space time complexity this is going to be the heaviest operation taking time of order of n log n and the space of order of n this is more sort so these are space time complexities these both are single single variables taking space of one and this is order of n loop so that's basically it the heaviest operation is this more sort operation which takes order of n log n time and n space n is the length of the satisfaction array this one cool so you can get like this pretty good uh, runtime and memory usage and this is it for the solution of reducing dishes uh, if you have any feedback, comments, uh, suggestions, or discussions you want to start, let me know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching.